And tonight, a grand jury has charged Chad and Lori Daybell with murder following the deaths of two kids, J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan. Prosecutors also announced charges related to the death of Chad's ex-wife, Tammy Daybell. CBS 2's Ariana Piper is here to explain these charges and the penalties they could face if convicted. Natalie, today is a significant day. It's J.J. Vallow's birthday. He would have turned nine years old. Instead, prosecutors announced murder charges related to the deaths of both him and his sister, Tylee Ryan. A grand jury indicted Lori and Chad Daybell on conspiracy to commit first degree murder and grand theft by deception. Both are also charged with first degree murder in the deaths of JJ and Tylee Ryan. The grand jury also indicted Lori Daybell on grand theft charges related to Social Security survivor benefits. Now to the death of Tammy Daybell, Chad's ex-wife. At the time of her death, it was said Tammy Daybell died in her sleep. Today, prosecutors announced Chad and Lori Daybell are charged with conspiracy to commit first-degree murder in Tammy Daybell's death. Chad is also facing first-degree murder charges in the case, along with insurance fraud related to a life insurance policy he had on her. Prosecutors have 60 days to decide whether to pursue life in prison or the death penalty. Live in the studio, Ariana Piper, CBS 2 News. David Leroy is a former Idaho Attorney General and a trial lawyer. Today, he talked with Nate Shellman of 670 KBOI Radio about these new charges, including the role of Chad and Lori's attorneys as this case moves its way through the court system. The lawyer's job for each of these defendants is to uh, make sure that all procedural niceties are followed, all constitutional rights are accorded, and at the end of the day, whatever the facts are against that defendant, uh, take the defendant's wishes and the defendant's real position. Uh, if it's not guilty and they weren't involved, then to advocate that as far as the, as the individual uh, wishes you to go uh, up to and through and including a jury trial uh, where that uh, guilty or not guilty decision is made by uh, 12 people, uh, good and true. So Chad will appear in court tomorrow at 11, and then Lori will appear a half hour later at 1130. We will carry the hearings live on CBS2 and on IdahoNews.com.